Hi guys, it's Stephanie. Today I'm going to walk you through 15 ways to elevate your guest bedroom. These tips will help create some relaxing hotel vibes so your guests feel comfortable and welcome in your home. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get right into it. The first and maybe the most important tip is to provide a comfortable bed. It was definitely time for us to upgrade our guest mattress and Tuft & Needle came to the rescue. We ordered the Tuft & Needle original mattress and I think it's incredibly comfortable, officially more comfortable than my bed. This is a medium firm mattress and it's made for sleepers of all kinds. This mattress had so many great reviews on their website and I can see why. Our families tend to lean more on the firm side for mattresses so I'm very excited for our guests to try it out. I know they're going to love it. I want to thank Tuft & Needle for sponsoring this video. You can find the link to their website and the original mattress in the description below. Wake up this morning Make the mistake of turning on the TV Nothing but bad news Empty ever news Rolling on the screen Oh, Walk to the kitchen I make myself a, a cup of coffee Wave at the old man Get in a suntan on his balcony Oh, Yeah, we both have been stuck in our apartments for two months Too long, we don't even get along But the world just fell apart uh, Straight out of the blue So in my mind I whisper child And I take myself to Tuscany, Italy Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field Yeah, warm wind blowing and birds are singing in cypress trees Tuscany, Italy Eating carbonara and reading Machiavelli While the world ends, that's where I will be Go back to my room I pick up the laptop to join a work it's important to hang curtains for privacy. I learned to always hang the window treatment as high as you can and to extend the curtain rod beyond the width of the window. This will make your ceilings feel taller, it'll make your window appear taller and larger, and it'll let in the max amount of light. Yeah, we all have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long We don't even get along, but the world just fell apart uh, Straight out of the blue, so in my mind I whisper child And I take myself to Tuscany, Italy Riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah I love how these curtains are nice and light and bright But they're thick enough to where you can't see through them Designate a spot for suitcases. I made this upholstered bench in a previous DIY tutorial and it's perfect for guests to put their suitcases, purses, or other personal items. It's nice to have a taller spot so guests don't have to bend down to get their belongings on the floor. It's nice to clear a space in your closet if you have one. Leave some extra hangers for your guests in case they want to hang any of their clothing. I also have a little shoe rack in here in case they want to set up their shoes. Provide extra linens. In this closet, we also keep extra bedding and towels for our guests in case they want to grab something at any time. Add additional seating. Having additional seating like an armchair or a desk to sit at is a great idea in case they need a place to work or read a book, whatever it may be. Upgrade your bedding. I've been so excited to upgrade the bedding in here and thanks to Tuft & Needle we got these linen sheets and linen duvet and they're amazing. They feel like luxury hotel bedding but the linen also has a natural rumpled look so the guests don't have to put a ton of effort into making the bed and it will still look great. I will link our Tuft & Needle bedding in the description below.
provide fresh towels. I like to fold a set of towels for each guest and leave them on the bed or on a bench if you really want your guests to feel like they're in a hotel, buy some soft quality towels. have a place to hang towels, install some hooks so that your guests have a place to hang their robes or towels, customize a welcome basket. When my family goes to visit my aunt and uncle, my aunt always has welcome baskets for everyone and I thought that was the sweetest thing. So I'm going to keep that tradition going. It's nice to have some snacks, water, maybe some toiletries. You can also incorporate some local favorites so your guests can get a taste of where you live. sufficient lighting provide some lamps or even a night light so your guests have some soft lighting options rather than the super bright overhead light provide some entertainment I placed a few books in the nightstand and some magazines in the welcome basket in case they want to do some light reading you can also throw in some cards or board games in case your guests get bored simplify your decor your guests don't want to be sleeping in a bunch of clutter so try to declutter your space and add some tasteful decor to dress up the space a little bit i like to stick to greenery and natural wood tones to keep things light and neutral Share the Wi-Fi. You know they're going to ask for the Wi-Fi password, so do yourself a favor and write it down or even frame it in a cute picture frame like I did. Last but not least, add a soothing fragrance, light some candles, add some fresh flowers or an oil diffuser, something subtle that won't be too overwhelming for your guests. There you have it. That was 15 ways to elevate your guest bedroom. I hope you guys learned a few tips that you can incorporate in your home. Thank you so much for watching. Wake up this morning, make the mistake of turning on the TV. Nothing but bad news, empty ever news rolling on the screen. Oh, walk to the kitchen and make myself a, a cup of coffee. Wave at the old man, get in a something tan on his balcony. Oh, yeah, we both have been stuck in our apartments for two months too long. We don't even get along, but the world just fell apart. Straight out of the blue, so in my mind I whisper chow and I take myself to Tuscany, Italy, riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field, yeah, warm wind blowing it.